Well, greetings guys, welcome back to a new video. If you do enjoy the videos, do take time to give them a thumbs up, perhaps give them a share on your social media pages. And if you've got any queries about bait or tackle, and if I can be of any service in that department, or any comments in general, please do pop a comment below or query and I'll do my best, or at least try my best to give a helpful bit of advice and a reply. So what are we doing this evening? Well, hopefully, fingers, paws and <laughs> claws crossed. Now after some tench, um, some nice olive green red-eyed teddy bears. Going to be fishing evening time into darkness and into early morning. Normally tend to fish one rod, but I'm going to be fishing two rods this evening. Both on worms, although I do have boilies with me as well, so I can switch to that if there's rud or eels being a pest, especially the eels. So, on to the um, tackle. This is a telescopic rod. I've got two of the same model with me today. And this is a Shimano STC Telespin. But it's also now these days um, marketed by Shimano as a rod that can be kept in your glove box and can be used for float fishing, leisuring, etc. And I tell you what, guys, I've had these. I've actually got three of these. These are the two older models. I like the older models because they've got a longer butt section. Um, I've had these around about 15 years. Well, you know what? I've landed double figure barbel on the lobbin on these. Fish to 13 plus pounds. Landed river carp to over 20 pounds on them and they're good for tench. They're, they're, although they're marketed as a telespin rod, their casting weight is 10 to 30 grams, so you can't hoik out big, heavy weights. But you can still pull out, I say, a one and a half ounce lead, or thereabouts, and a little mesh bag. Nice and compact, these break down tiny. I mean, the butt section of these, they unscrew like a snooker cue, and they go in their own little pouch that's got room for a reel as well. Reel that I'm using on both of these today, this is a very small Akuma, bait feeder reel. Lovely, lovely little compact bait runners. Both reels are loaded with a 10 pound line and the setup's very simple. On this one, I'm gonna be fishing what I've got left of it and that's the Drennan Sink Braid. This is in, um, if I remember correctly, eight, eight or 10 pound breaking strain. Just nice, very supple, beautiful braid. Pity that they stopped making it, but to be honest, I've started using the Drennan Gravel Braid and it's been performing just as good. Low resistance running rig set up with a quick change run ring. Nice low resistance so the fish can't feel that. Now I'm not one for always going too short on my tench rigs. Um, I'm not one of these guys that's really that good at tying a two inch, <laughs> two inch rig to be fair. So I'm just using a low resistance running setup. Braided main line. I've got a little tungsten sinker there and a little size 10 HOS tackle hook. Oh, it's a size, it's a size eight or size 10. And on the back of that, if you can see that, a very small micro sized maggot clip so you can put your maggots on it and fish them off the back of the hook what I'm going to be doing tonight is what I have been doing since the last season or two and that's fishing lovely clusters of red worms on the maggot clip quick to get them on better than putting them on the hook get a nice presentation and um, fishing one rod with the red worms air injected so they'll pop up just on the weed bed and the other rod which is going up on quite a good gravel area that will just be fished on the deck without the red worms being air injected so that's it ground bait wise got the following some absolutely balls of goodness balls <laughs> of goodness that is mainline match margin coarse mix or coarse margin mix i've mixed that with the mainline blood worm syrup and I've also included a small amount of extra pellet in with what is already quite a fish mealy and fishy ground bait. Lovely for rolling into balls. Just as I say, pre-prepared quite a few balls so I haven't got to mess about. And in with that, I've put a little bit of corn. Now, some of my lakes that I fish, it's different strokes for different folks. You know, some lakes that I fish, I won't even use corn. Or if I do use corn, it will be tapered off very quickly because the fish will come in, they'll see it as a danger sign and they will spook. So, but tonight... I'm going to start off with a nice helping of corn in that. A little bit of hemp in there as well. So that's the sum of it. I've got red worms that I'm going to be fishing with, hopefully, on the main. I've got boilies and I've got a tin of sweet corn. Should I want to loose feed some sweet corn out and also fish that as well. Anyway, that's it. The light's fading. I want to get the rods out. I'll see you guys on the bank, hopefully, tonight or early hours of the morning. We might pick up a tinker and the first tinker of the new new tench season so we call it the new new springtime tension which is always it's a pleasure to be out it's a pleasure when the weather's just changed a bit and it's you know mm, it's smelling good well there's the mix that's mainline 
coarse margin mix, sweet corn, a little bit of bloodworm liquid in there as well. Just a few pellets and a bit of hemp. Tasty, very tasty. So there we go, simple as it gets, you can see the mag clip there, micro mag clip. I'm going to put on a tiny, tiny mesh bag with a few little pellets. That's as simple as it gets. Little size 10 hook, little liner liner, little micro mag clip and three beautiful red worms from the family Cardboard Wormery. They do a good job of imitating a um, blood worm. That's what I find. I find they're actually, you know, I like my lobworms, but these are lively. The ideal worm for a tench or bream angler, to be honest. They're great for all species. Gonna air inject these. The other one, the other rods have been put out. They're gonna be, they're not air injected. These will be injected with some air, just so they pop up off the bottom and off of the debris. Oh, ring guys. We're in. Tinkers on, so be stays on. First of the season, it's a smallish one, but quite nice. It's not too bad a one. Happy days. Happy days. Well, afraid I'd done this one a bit of a disservice, didn't I? I said, oh, it's, it's not it's not that big. <laughs> yes, a bit of a disservice mark. Six pounds one ounces. And um Dan, if you're watching this video, you did I don't know what it is with you guessing getting score lines with football right and 
fish guesstimates right. You said you're going to have a six pounder tonight. Well, here you go, six pound one. So if you're watching Dan, <laughs> one of my subscribers and another fisherman he is, um, check out his channel. He's um, only just newer into doing YouTube videos, so um, could do with a bit of a you know shout out. And the beginner fisherman on YouTube did say that I was going to get a six pounder, but there you go, six pound one ounces of pristine condition buttery tinker, beautiful. As I say, six pound one. Let me just draw myself back properly. There you go. Always shows the proportion better. Wonderful, wonderful condition. Lovely paintbrush paddle. That was just taken on my air injected lobworm in between some weed bed. I did reposition the rod as it's been quiet this evening. There was fish knocking both rods, a couple of bleeps on both rods, um, a few tents rolling, and then it all went quiet. I was wondering, is it going to just be a morning, you know, scenario? But normally you do pick up a fish or two in the night on this particular water. And, um, yeah, proof's in the pudding. Well, sure enough, <coughs> the morning chorus is beginning. Got chilly during the night. Went down to around about eight degrees. It is cool enough. Um, yeah, very happy to have had that six pounder. Didn't think they were going to feed at all, actually, in the night. <sighs> Just seemed like they weren't in the mood. But yeah, very nice to have had that particular fish. I am hoping that we get one or two more before I pack up. Certainly would be nice to pick up a couple more in the next two or so hours. Let's just listen to that, listen to that bird call. Isn't it, isn't it synonymous with spring? It's amazing. Been hearing a few cuckoos locally. Uh, heard one about half an hour ago. <laughs> Yeah. It's the small things in life, you know. Small things with, that you can cling on to and that have a big meaning to your heart and your soul. And as a fisherman, yeah, being outdoors, I say it a lot in my videos, being at one with nature, just makes you feel so much more content. And on an even keel.
think this might be a calf, guys. Not sure. Really taking a line over. Carpus. <laughs> 20 pound one ounces <laughs> of feisty mirror. I'm really, really buzzed. Buzzed guys. What a what a corker. And what a scrap. As I say, I was on the eight pound hook link there. Manic take. <sighs> no wonder it didn't want to give up, eh? 20 pounder. Very, very welcome. And on those those little Shimano travel concepts, what I was telling you, they can handle a decent carp or two. Tell you what, a feisty fish. What a feisty fish. Let's draw myself back. See what, she's angry. 
She is angry, guys. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely tones. What a stonking paddle as well. Absolute corker. Absolute corker. Happy with that. Happy as Larry, I think. Might call it quits now. If the uh, other rod stays quiet and um, head off home, come back another day. What a way to, if I don't stay on a bit longer, what a way to cap the trip off. What a corker. <laughs> come on. Happy, happy days. Good old red worms, eh? Off she goes. Well guys, just about packed up. Well, the rods are broken down, just gotta put them in their holdle. Um what a what a wonderful trip. Um did expect a few more tench bites this morning, but at the same time, you know, it can be a funny time of the year when you're just starting out uh, some waters pick up quicker than others that said when I turned up yesterday around about it was around about 8 30 at 8 o'clock ish and then got cast out and set up by about 8 45 9 o'clock there was tench moving uh, there was tench rolling over my right board there was tench rolling further down the lake and closer in and um, by about 12 o'clock 11 12 o'clock I'd had a couple of bleeps on my right rod a couple of bleeps on my left but very quiet and normally I do expect to pick one or two tench up in the night so I thought to myself maybe because it's early on or you know the weather's only just really starting to settle and pick up because we have had some really unstable unseasonal low temperatures I did wonder to myself you know they're not really got their feeding attitude on for night like they can have um, and I thought yeah this might be a bit of a struggle they might not even feed in the morning um, thankfully Round about was it 3 30 in the morning three o'clock in the morning i had that lovely six pound plus tinker and uh, very happy to have the first tench of the tench trips now i was hoping that the um, feeding would pick up in the morning but at the same time i thought to myself given that it's been a bit of a struggle at night and you normally i normally pick up a few fish at night on this particular water uh it's um was one of those i thought to myself you know what mark i think you're gonna you're gonna struggle in the morning and the tench aren't necessarily gonna feed but you know you stick at it don't you and um, screaming take on the left hand rod fish to a area where there's a quite a heavy weed bed but I'd raked it and um, I knew straight away with that take it was it was it was mean it was a mean carp single tone I mean you know <laughs> when a delkin warbles you know that you're in for a good time and um, to have one of this lake's carp you know would I have taken attention instead yeah, obviously I'm down tension and obviously I'm on tension tackle, so lighter rods, eight pound hook link, and that, the hook link is pressing the innovation's power line. It's a reliable, superb hook link. I tell you what, when feeding's been finicky on lakes and rivers, that's usually picked me up an extra fish. And it's reliable, it's got a good abrasion resistance and good kind of shock absorption to it. And that carp whew, put that to the test, didn't it? What, what a scrap. You know, if you told me, you know, this morning I'd have first tench of the season, but I might be scraping around a bit trying to get that first tench, I would have taken that. But to have also one of the carp out on the tench tackle, once again proving how good these little Shimano STC telespin rods are. Believe me, guys, I've had river carp, I've had barbel, I've had good quality tench, chub on them. Yeah, that was that was thrilling. It was a bit of a heart in mouth scrape. You see me go to land it there. Um, first time and I just, just knew I knew it's getting near the net and it's just gonna it's gonna go again and it did go again and um, yeah it was getting at me a bit <laughs> a little bit um, edgy but yeah brilliant way to land it brilliant, brilliant way to catch it and getting your topography of a lake bed correct so you get your bait placement correct and I'm not talking or singing bigging up myself but you do have to you know do that you do have to put that kind of effort in and um, when it comes right and the fishing is tricky you can pick up a fish or two and a bonus fish and um, yeah yeah I'm, you can tell I'm absolutely over, over the moon it's uh, been an enjoyable trip hope you've enjoyed it I know it's not so easy at night I couldn't show you too much after I'd cast in of the of the setting because it was getting dark and I can't really have the camera on in the dark with the light on 
that's why I tried to get the uh, morning, you know, the dawn chorus. But yeah, absolutely thrilled I am. Hope you've enjoyed this um, impromptu and first tinker trip of the season with that lovely carp as well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna gonna head off home a very happy guy. Anyway, wherever you're wetting a line, wherever you're dangling your end tackle, not that end tackle, I mean, you know, the end of your rod. Not that rod, what am I doing? I'm digging myself a digger, bigger hole. Wherever you're fishing, hope you're having a good time. And um, thank you for viewing these videos that I make. I do enjoy making them. And I'll see you on another video. Take care, guys. All the best. Goodbye.